Good morning, Cliff Nation. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023, yes. and you are, are loved. Yes. Hello, my name is Mr. Garcia, and this is... I'm Coach D. And uh, we're very excited about today. All right, we have one birthday for today. Today is Jace, and he is in Miss Parlow's class. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy 15th birthday. Jace, happy 15th birthday there. All right. All right, lunch today, 21st. We have cheese, 22nd. We have chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes with gravy, steamed green beans, mm. cranberries, fresh roll, ketchup cup, and choice of milk. Chicken that sounds nuggets. good. Oh, man. Sounds good. Sounds awesome. All right, we got the joke of the day. What's the joke of the day? What do you call a groundhog that eats too much? Mm. A fat mm, groundhog? You call that a roundhog. Oh, roundhog. That's a good one. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh. All right, tomorrow, February 23rd, our third grade program entitled uh, Punks a Tiny Phil, a Tale again. of a Groundhog, um, will be happening at 8.30 in the cafeteria, and then again at 6 um, after school with a PTO meeting just before at 5. Coach, say that one more time. What's that word? Punks a Tiny Phil. How do you spell that? Well, it's a long spelling word. Spell it. Spell it. P U X S U T A W N E Y. Punks a Tiny Phil. You just. Come on down and support our third graders uh, for all their hard work yeah. and um, learn the true value of friendship and then believing in yourself and trying even when you think you may fail. Mm -hmm. So great program. And that's today. Sorry, not tomorrow. That's today. All right. Um, we're going to start with our new innovation club so we're going to go over those first before we get to ours we're going to talk about miss richie's club she's doing vex robots with fifth grade students she would like to uh keep the current fifth grade students that she has already um and then k through fourth is doing 3d building and construction stations mm. students will have building activities at seven different stations Coach and I have talked to pretty much every student here about our clubs for the fifth six weeks. Mine is going to be emphasizing the pacer, which is um, aerobic endurance when we talk about the fitness gram. So we're going to be working on improving your pacer laps. Um, so we'll be doing that, and Coach D will also be doing something related to fitness gram. Yeah, I'll, too. Be, I'll be doing the strength and conditioning, which is going to consist of uh, your push-up, category of the fitness gram and the sit-up um, category now we have a special oh, guest we? we have a special guest Man. officer officer, officer barnes. barnes and you know we all know that officer barnes is pretty buff you know pretty 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 big and uh we said you know officer barnes you're the prime example of push-ups and sit-ups so we asked him to come in with us today and, and, and show us some proper a proper push-up so if you look at officer levance if you look at his entire backside it's all straight his back everything his legs are straight his arms are shoulder width he's looking he's looking where he needs to be and we're gonna officer levance i'll go one up down up down up all right so that's that's the proper push-up now the proper sit-up are you ready to do sit-up Officer Lance, if you can put your head here and your feet down there, we'll look that way. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go up, down, up, down, up. Now, so, so Officer Lance, if you'll put your hands to the side. Do, go ahead and get put. Yeah, there you go. And now your, your hands in the sit-up position will have to, your fingertips will have to touch your heel. Yeah. Don't be cheating, Officer Levant, Officer Bonds. All right, you ready? Up, down, up, down. All right, so that's that's where we're at with the sit-ups and push-ups, okay? Thank you, Officer Bonds. You're awesome, you are awesome as always. And the fitness gram is very important because you will start doing that in third grade, mm -hmm. fourth grade, and fifth grade. And 
junior high and then when you get to high school as well. So it's very important that we start learning and emphasizing that more, okay? Now it's time for the pledges and a moment of silence. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. And for today's launch, Coach D is going to read that for us. All right, our launch today is this. Don't tell me not to fly. I've simply got to. So again, don't tell me not to fly. I simply got to. That's our cool. launch for the day. And our tribe chant. And who are we? At Clift, we, we are, are trustworthy, trustworthy, respectful, respectful inclusive, inclusive, responsible, and we, we encourage others. others. We are a tribe. Mm. Okay, and you guys have a great day, day and we love you guys. Bye. See you.